In today's episode, we're going to talk about... Wait... Who the hell are you? I'm you, without those glasses. On. Have someone ever told you how ugly you are? You mean, we are, because I'm you. Okay, never mind. You must be here for a reason, am I right? Yeah. Do you know what is this thing behind us? Yeah, I know what is it. It's my task board. And I didn't move anything in here since... I don't know... Two months? I think you won't get anything done hoeing like that. So get down to work. Now. And so I did. At least I tried. When you are going back to work after the long period of time, there must be something that is off. Something that crashes on your face. And there was it. There was something with Unity. Whenever I plus played in the game window when it was minimized, there was no 60 stable FPS. There were only 30 of those. And when I maximized the window, everything was okay. But I can't work like this. And then I thought to myself, okay, this will be a quick fix. 20 minute max, in and out. And nothing bad can happen. In and out. And nothing bad can happen. Oh my god, was I mistaken in here. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do is wanted to check my profiler. It will tell me what happens for the rest of the frame and... What the hell? When I turn the profiler on, the application goes to the 60 FPS, but when I turn it off, it goes again back to the 30. What? Okay, never mind. This is getting weirder and weirder every second. But we have something. It is GFX wait for present on GFX thread. It is the point that we'll start digging from. So I started the search of this problem on the internet, and basically it can mean everything. Something can be broken inside of the Unity, but also something can be broken outside of the Unity, like for example in system. Some guys are writing to check your vSync settings, but I have them turned off, and it doesn't work like this, that in minimized it is 30 FPS and in maximized it is 60 FPS. It should be stable frame rate in any condition. So I skipped to the last page and found something about G4 experience overlay. It may force a vSync outside of the Unity. But I have it already turned down, and I don't want to uninstall it. Anyhow, any of those actions didn't really work for me, as the game was still running in the 30 FPS. At this moment, I was pretty sure that it has something to do with a graphic card and CPU, because when the game is minimized, it is just working on the CPU. But first, I would like to try all of the other things, because whenever I change something in the graphic card settings, it screws up my CPU completely, like games are stopping working and other stuff. Also, I already tried G4 Experience, and the other settings are way more complicated than this. So let me think what changes did I did lately. Hmm. I think the only changes that I made lately were icons of attack and life. But this shouldn't be a thing that produced such a high FPS drop in my game. However, even if there is no chance that this caused the problem, it is better to check it out and be safe than sorry later. And of course, as I was expecting, it didn't have any impact on the frame rate in a game. The good news is that I still have some options left in here. Maybe I should start with this option as the first one because it would save me a lot of time, but I will do it right now. I will try to see if VSync manipulation and a frame rate manipulation is working from a code. So I created a new empty scene so no graphics, objects or any other scripts would interfere into my frame rate. And then I run it with a frame limit set to the 5 to see if I have any control of it from the Unity. And now I know that I can control the lower bandwidth of a frame rate. And with this knowledge I try to set the target frame rate to something real high. Like a thousand. And so the last thing that I can do from the code is just turn the vSync off. But sadly you can see that is also not the cause of the problem. So, um, yeah, there is only one thing that I can do and I don't really like it. So let us jump directly to the NVIDIA control panel. We go to the manage 3D settings and there is only one button that I can press in here. It is restore. And to be honest, I'm a little bit scared to press it. And it is because I was tweaking around those settings so all of my games are running on a graphic card. But... Okay, let's give it a try. I'm pressing it. And this little operation crashed the whole computer, which is... But do not despair, little one. After restarting the computer, we had some positive feedback. Let's take a quick look. So you can see right now in here that my frame rate goes around 80 to 90 FPS in minimized mode. And then it goes even higher when Unity is in maximize mode. You can see that restoring the NVIDIA control panel did the trick, but what was wrong in there? I really don't know. We are getting slowly to the end of this video, and even though if you didn't saw any improvement in your code or graphics, I had a lot of time to think of what I want to achieve. And what I want to achieve is to release a demo of this game with two or three encounters. And to do this, we have to rework the graphic design of this game. Problem is that all of the graphic decisions were based on me. 
And I'm a pretty shitty graphic artist. I mean, I don't know what looks nice. I don't know what looks good. And also I had this another wall built in front of me that was telling me that, okay, I'm programming this game. I know what's going on. So everyone will know what's going on, but this is not true. When people are looking at my game, they don't know at what they are looking. They don't even know where is their hand with cards. It should be pretty easy that when you are playing a card game, your hand is on the bottom of the screen, but not, not, not in here. I mean, everything is the same color and this, those were my decisions and they were bad. And right now we are seeking help of more advanced uh, graphic artists who can handle it. I'm looking for people who will be able to help me finish the game and release the demo with full UI and card graphic design ready. And I think that this is everything for now. So see ya and boy!